in uh, the next few videos I want to cover uh, some of these buildings and uh, in this case I'm at I'm in the heartlands and I'm at the home base location now default home bases will always have a, um, uh, a tech center a factory a refinery two vehicle manufacturing plants and uh, one um, depot now all of these will be activated any of these types of buildings that are outside of a home base location will not necessarily be activated yet I, I, I'll cover that briefly I think uh, maybe towards the end of this vehicle so in this video I want to cover the re, uh, the refinery so this particular via or vehicle this particular building is used re for refining or for refining various uh, components basically um, or basic items I shouldn't say components because a component is a very specific item this right here so by using this facility we can get B mats basic materials we can get R mats or refined materials we can get um, explosives material from sulfur and we can get refined fuel from regular fuel so if I pull up the map here you'll see that we have this building we also have all of the gathering locations for these four items here's the location for gathering components here's the one for gathering scrap the one for gathering sulfur and fuel and these are all indicated in map over here uh, under resources so you can only refine materials when the specific facilities that you want to use to refine is at 200 of 200 upgrade parts uh, this now these home bases will already have 200 of 200 for each but all other facilities or rather refinements or refineries with facilities waiting to be activated have to first be activated by uh, submitting a total of 200 upgrade parts each the way you get upgrade parts is by uh, hammering away at scrap locations uh, and you will uh, on occasion randomly you will if I can press the right button you will receive this item right here called a tech part tech parts can then be re turned in here at a refinery and converted into upgrade parts or into research parts so uh, it does take a while to get these this is definitely not usually a one person show this requires often a team effort to get there the way you submit tech parts to a location in order to uh, uh, create the facilities necessary is by going to any refinery um, and then just clicking here once you have a tech part in your vehicle and it will automatically convert it to an upgrade part so to get started I'm going to gather uh, some scrap if you've watched uh, my how to create a vehicle from scratch or how to create a vehicle from scratch video then you already know this process and it's pretty much the same for all of the other uh, items as well I'm gonna grab a sledgehammer simply because this makes uh, gathering faster and actually I don't know if you get more but you definitely get material faster by using a sledgehammer some locations actually one location can only uh, be gathered using a sledgehammer and that's for components used to make our mats so let me see where are we going we're going down into the right so I'm just going to gather a few here just so that you can see how this works I'm going to oh must put it in my vehicle this will also work with just the regular uh, hammer just run up to a scrap resource and left click but it works faster with this I'll go ahead and finish this one off sledgehammer should be about three swings to gather and you'll get I believe it's ten per swing 
So I used both the small hammer and a sledgehammer for a total of 90. And um, actually, this is probably not the best way to do this. There's room enough for usually two vehicles here at least, sometimes three, but you don't have to be touching the, the building. So a little tip. If you move up to about there, you can still hit E to access the building, and there's still room in here for other players on foot to come up and also use the, uh, use the facilities. And there's also room in here if a vehicle comes in at an angle and maybe one here in the center to get three vehicles. So this isn't as critical right now, but there are some regions and some points during the war when logistics is extremely busy, and this is extremely important in order to make sure that everybody can get in and use the use the building. So if I hit E, I have 90 scrap, all I have to do is click here and it will automatically pull all the scrap from my inventory into here and you can see that it's now processing and just like that it's already done. And now if I left click I will gather all of the V mats that I just refined. Now previously I had already set to refine some R mats so I'll go ahead and pull those as well and also some explosives material and some fuel. Now, I have too many to fill my inventory, so if I left click now, it's going to leave some in there. So it pulled out 400. Now I can either bring some of this material to the front, uh, except for the explosives material, material that's usually used here in this building, which will be another, uh, another video. I'm going to go ahead and just put them in here because this is where this material is usually used anyway. That way, that way it's handy for someone else to use it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and drop off these B mats in here too because sometimes they're needed here. As for the R mats, um, if you're not delivering them to the front for building up fortifications, uh, one location can, you can put them is just right here and then submit. And there aren't very many here, but there's some here. So that's pretty much it. It's really easy to use the refinery. Uh, once again, you just pull up, hit, uh, whoops, not quite close enough to it, not too much at an angle. Illustrating the point I brought up before, hit E, and then assuming you have the item in your inventory, either scrap, components, sulfur, or fuel, you can then simply click the, uh, the corresponding um, uh, icon and it will start to produce it. In this case, these two are grayed out. And the reason for that is because I, it still has some items here that are pending for me to pick up. I'm going to go ahead and pull this fuel, I guess. And actually, I can pull the material here as well. I guess I'll go ahead and drop that off for now. I think we have over a thousand fuel in here currently. Uh, yes, we do. Oh, whoops. Okay, so uh, I made a common rookie mistake as I actually dump all of my fuel into the building instead of leaving a little bit for myself to use. So I'm just going to jump out and if I left or if I left click here three times and I'll get 30 fuel. That's usually all that I travel with is about 30. That way if I get blown up, I'm not giving a ton of fuel to the enemy. And if for some reason I decide to need more fuel, depending on the circumstances, then it's easy enough to just bring more. And I'll go ahead and drop off the explosives over here. If this, uh, if this building is kind of full with explosives, then I'll just drop it off in the uh, base back there. So in this next segment, I wanted to demonstrate how to work towards unlocking the facilities of another refinery. And for that, I'm going to need some upgrade parts or upgrade parts. So I'm going to uh, pause the video now and time warp. And before that, I'm going to slave away at some scrap for a while and see if I can't get some upgrade uh, parts first. So I just finished gathering uh, 600 scrap. And out of the 600 scrap, I received two tech parts. 
If you're specifically going after tech parts, then you'll want to scrap using the hammer, not the sledgehammer. And if you're going for scrap, then you'll want to use the sledgehammer because it's faster. So that's enough for me to uh, demonstrate the next part of this video. I'm going to go ahead and pull up in here. And uh, I'm going to refine all of the scrap. Actually, left click will do one pile, right click will do all piles. And then I'm going to click here. Uh, actually, in this case, the tech parts are in my personal. What? What happened here? Okay, I must have clicked the wrong key. Uh, and this, um, now since I was gathering, uh, I actually ended up with the tech parts in my personal inventory. So I can either run up to, this to the building and do it in person, or I can place the items in my vehicle and do it from here. I'm going to go ahead and do it from here. Make a little bit more room here. So now that the tech parts are in my vehicles, you, or my vehicles inventory, I can either click here to get upgrade parts, or I can click here to get tech parts. In this case, we are wanting to upgrade another refinery, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and left click here to convert one of them. Let's see, it takes about 20 seconds. Uh, if, I, if you right click, you can do both at the same time, or you can just left click here again to activate the other one. I'll also mention while we're waiting for this, we will notice that the BMATs are already done, that uh, refining BMATs takes very little time. Our mats is not too bad, but a bit time consuming. Same with fuel. However, refining um, sulfur into explosives material is extremely time consuming. So you may want to sort of plan ahead if, if this is your plan of operation. And a few seconds left here. All right, I can now click to claim those two. I'm going to go ahead and click to claim the uh, B mats that I crafted as well. So now I'm going to find a location on the map. Um, I've been trying to be a little more careful with the map this time. I have disabled intelligence. So that way, even if it takes me a few days to upload, I'm not giving away too much intel to uh, the enemy. And if I scroll up here a little bit, I notice there is a, a refinery right here. It, it's probably, it's probably been upgraded. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We're going to find out. So I'm just going to cruise up there and we'll take a look. It's a short trip, so I'm not going to bother with a time warp. Just the location. I believe. Oh no. Oh, a little ways to go. Okay, I should have done time warp. Okay, so in here somewhere, uh, looks like right on this intersection. Okay, so in this case, you can see someone has already dumped in enough components to activate the RMATS facility. And they are currently working on the scrap processing facility, of which there is 105 out of 400. Uh, now, you may notice that back at the home base, it said 200 of 200. If you read the little info panel here, it explains a bit of how this works. And for the first facilities that you upgrade, it costs 200. Uh, or actually, uh, then as you keep going up, the price increases. So since 
this one only costs 200 this one will cost 400 the next one will cost 800 so this means you have to give a little bit of thought to what exactly you're wanting to upgrade in the order in which you're wanting to upgrade it it may be that you don't need all of these facilities at all locations um, that gets quite expensive and since it took mining 600 scrap in order to just get two of these it can be an extremely time-consuming process again it's very much a teamwork uh, process here so I have two and the way I activate these and apply them to the BMS facility is simply by left clicking for one and left clicking for the second one or I can right click to apply all of them and you see that it brought it up to 107 out of 400 is it a waste to process or to build up the facilities in this one considering there's another one that's so close by uh, maybe uh, I might prefer to spend those components uh, further up closer to where the frontline wars are being fought but in this for the purposes of this video it illustrates how to use those upgrade parts one last thing to note these buildings uh, are neutral meaning anyone from either side can use them uh, they may require repair but once a facility has been activated then they're available to use the buildings can be damaged through decay and through uh, standard weapon damage as well that's it for this video i think next one i'll cover the factory